Guys, welcome to episode number 91 of the Football Manager series. As always, feel free to skip forward a couple of minutes to where we actually get going in the background, and uh, that way you will just avoid the whole general furore that is me setting up the stream in the background. Still need to put the YouTube video live and tweet out, etc. Welcome people in, and uh, we should get going in three to six minutes' time. There you go, there's a gauge for you. No idea whether I will get going in that time period, but we'll find out. I'll just try and time it. Whoa, there's an advert. I'll, uh, I'll mute that so that A, I don't deafen myself, and B, it doesn't loop in the background. As always, I'll try and time me loading the game up in the background with where I'm actually going, like starting playing. Right, let me just quickly put the little YouTube video live. That way, people will know that I'm streaming. Streaming now. Transfer window on FM. Here we go. And put the link in the description. Link in desk. Okay. Why are you putting up time? <laughs> I've literally just gone live. You've been waiting for me to go live. And you put. You ask Nightbot to tell you how long I've been live. Oh. I'm just having to make a note. Ah. Here we go. I need to tweet out as well. Has twi has did I start again? Did Twitch? Yeah, it did auto tweet, but I need to tweet it myself. Live now. Oh, I'm if you don't capitalise half the word. It's transfer window time on football manager. Come join the chat. There we go, there we go. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Cesolino? I'll take that. I'm not FIFA, but I'm not FIFA, I'm not Brazilian. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know where FIFA came from. I'm not Brazilian. Not like Cesolino or Danielino or Alanzinho. Alan Zinio is like one of the weirdest ones I've seen. Your flags up in the sky. What? What? What you talking about flags for, boy? Welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> Just sat here making noises to myself. Oh, my chair is wobbly. For some reason. I need to tighten a screw or two. Remind me <laughs> after I've. Or when I'm finishing streaming, that I need to tighten the screws on the bottom of my chair, please. <laughs> that is something that needs to happen, otherwise I'll, the chair will just go, <laughs> and I'll just disappear. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Uh, what is the medical condition? Uh, I have ME or CFS, myalgic encephalomyelitis. There is a there is a video on my YouTube channel about it. If you go to my YouTube channel, uh, I'll, put, I'll just put the link in the chat. If you go to my YouTube channel and search in the videos for uh, my health, like the phrase "my health," and it will bring you up the two videos that I did about my uh, my health.
Do I like trains? I like trains. It's from the um, ASDF movies, isn't it? Hashtag fix chernoid. Yeah, you're not wrong. I do need to fix chernoid. Chernoid is wobbly. Is that video gone live yet? Let me just quickly check whether the little YouTube video has gone live. It's on its way to sub boxes. Has it reached them? Uh, apparently so, but it still says zero views. Never mind. You literally just subbed to my YouTube channel. Oh, thank you, Devlin. Is it Devlin or Dev Il Devil NL? It's Devil NL. Sorry. Should we play some Football Manager? I think that's uh, the thing to do right now, isn't it? We scraped a couple of 1-0 wins at the end of yesterday's stream. I scraped a couple of 1-0 wins. And we got Watford next. Where are Watford in the league? 12th. We're in some terrible form. Really, really just awful form. Three back-to-back -back wins in the BPL now, but we lost 1-0 to Bristol City in the FA Cup, which really, really wicked me off. Everybody's not sure how they feel about life right now when it comes to uh, the, the morale of the squad. We tried to raise it by uh, doing a couple of team meetings, and it worked until we had all of that Ferrari with Kevin Morales yesterday. Ah, of course his move is going to be delayed. We got the rather unfortunate news at the end of yesterday's stream that Romelu Lukaku is going to be out for two months with kneeling him in damage. Which has completely killed us because nobody else really is scoring goals. I mean, Leighton Baines has five and probably three of those have been penalties. I can check, in fact. Four of those have been penalties and I bet the other one was a free kick as well, which I think it was. So I need some goals from somewhere. We're looking at uh, Malenga because he looks decent, but his move is being delayed. And Luke Garbutt wants first team football, which is fair enough. Um, I'd say Kevin Morales is in the form of his life. Um, I would say there's a lot of football still to be played. You're right, sorry for bringing it up, good lad. I'm glad he dealt with that in the right way. I don't want to end up losing him as well. Park Ju Ho wants to discuss. Oh. I didn't sign him technically. I mean, I could get a decent whack for him as well. Financially, he came in on a free before we arrived here, and obviously Leighton Baines is going to get the first team spot, and Luke Garber is my backup. So. I'm quite actually quite happy to offer him around and see if we can drum up any interest. Whoa, Ajax have immediately offered me the 3.4 million straight up front. There you go. Deal done. That frees up some funds, although we only get 30%. We only get 30% from any from any sale retained into our transfer budget. Barca have signed Eric Lamella. They've, gone, they've turned to Lamella instead of trying to pursue Kevin Morales from us. Although Morales has now said that he's happy to stay, which, I mean, f fair enough. I don't really want any of those guys. If we can't get... I'm waiting to see what happens with um, Thingy's work permit. Ah, yes, 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 good. Otherwise we were going to have to look for a new, another striker, but... 
Thank you. Add him into the inn. Confirm selection, yes. McCarthy handed further too much ban. Ugh. Of course. Of course he's handed him further too much ban. Uh, I don't know what the face pack is in particular, Sleeper Man. I just got it off. I got it off. Um, I got it off fmscout.com. I got it off fms. F I got it off fmscout.com. I think. I think they removed me from their team on Twitch. They invited me into their team on Twitch and have since taken me out of it, I think. Not really too sure why. Oh well. <laughs> I might have to uh, tweet them and ask what's going on there. Oh well. I've only just noticed that because normally when I went on my channel, it says playing football manager on FM net on the FM network, but it doesn't say that anymore. <laughs> He disowned me. Oh well. <laughs> Crew board disappointed with money. Money left Cambridge to go to Crew, and he's not been there long. I mean, they are f they're first in League Two, so he's having to doing a great job there. But we're a we're a Walsall. Also the twenty second in League One. I probably want to stay at Crew rather than go to Warsaw personally. Oh yeah, Darren Gibson. We sold him, didn't we? Spoiled his day, always say that, don't we? Uh a little fragile, look to take advantage of that, although they'll probably I think I'm just I'm not sure whether I'm confident with this side anymore or not. We're in a really weird phase right now. Who's Elsad? Elsad Hyde. Bloody hell, that is it. Elsad Heizer. Heizer. How do you even pronounce that? Elsad Heize, perhaps? Napoli have only bought him this season from Empoli. He looks okay. Tackling's not very high. His mentals aren't that good. He's quick and strong. There's no way, no way I could afford him because I haven't got any bloody money. But as soon as this Park Chu Ho deal is confirmed, we will have at least some. What we're going to do with it is, as of yet, undecided. Crew, and you know, I'm not surprised they're unhappy with him. We won the last game against Watford, apparently. When did we play them? At the beginning of the season. We only, sl we only snuck a 1-0 win in the previous game against them at home. They sat 13th. Not sure how this game is going to go. TBH. Seamus Coleman has slight concerns. Oh, wants to join Man United. Yeah. They won't bid for him, though, hopefully. If they do, help me. Well, hopefully they won't. Wow. Injuries and suspensions all round. Gareth Barry and Mike Jensen. Who apparently, his stats are just dying. Probably because he's not match fit. Because I 
just don't play him. Might have something to do with it. Uh, we said we'd be giving Lucas some first team football, so we will start him. Start. Actually, I'm going to start McGeady on the left and Morales up top. And we'll put uh, our new guy, Malenga, on the bench. See, not Oviedo, Garba. Hina. Jacob Malenga. What is his match fitness like? 55%. His match fitness is pretty pretty low as well. And do we go with Stephen Naismith? Yeah, go on then. Go on in. Oh, a number nine. Oh, he's giving him the number nine shirt. Oh. It's high Solanke or Fruz. I don't think they're good enough, bro. Not for our aspirations here at Everton. Let's see how we get on. See how we get on. Who I signed? Um, just Malenga so far. I'll show you the uh, the transfer thing after after this game. I'll go to the trans like transfer history tab. I'm not too sure why he needed to turn that round the corner. I could have just kept that in. Oh no, my chair's squeaking and there's a screw loose. That's why he's saying don't die on his chair, no. It's a bit of a. I'm wobbling a bit. I need to just tighten the, tighten the screws at the bottom of the chair. They've had a few chances here, Watford, but we've definitely had more of the ball. We get a good cross. Jensen goes down, nothing given. Lucas. Oh. Just waiting for a penno there. I would have wanted a penno. Hey, De Bear. Akin Fenwell or Hiski? Neither, personally. I mean, I'll take I'll take the Hiski from like 2000. I'll take that Emil Hiski. 2000 when he was at Leicester. I'll take Leicester Hiski, but not Bolton Hiski. I'm starting to grow into this game a little bit more now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Please. It looks like we're going to go to half time without a goal unless something happens here. Tackling. Don't let Anya run at you because he's rapid. Or Gallo because he's a good finisher. Yes, Gareth. Oh, I thought Gibson was going to get on that, but he didn't. Go on, Kev. Go on, Kev. Go oh. Wowzers. That was a really good run, and then one of the worst finishes I've seen for a while. Um, I'll try and encourage them, though. I hope with the performance, keep it up. Let's see if we can actually get the boys to go in front. Itch in my eye, it's really starting to wick me off. Yes, it is. I could try and get Delafeu. Go on, Kev. Kev! Oh! I thought smashed that top for a minute. Kuhn's a good keeper, actually. I played against him on, on career mode in the, against either in the Chelsea series or the Cambridge series. I can't quite remember which one it was. I don't think you've seen that video yet. Go on. Oh, it won't drop for anyone. Yeah, Ross Barkley! You dropped for him this time. Now, Pione Sisto is at Chelsea at the minute, so don't think they'd let me have him, but I could look into it. Am I going to get the new Batman game? I haven't played the old ones, unfortunately. I haven't played Asylum or um, Origins or 
any of the others, so it, would, it wouldn't really make much sense to get this one. It's not my sort of game, really. I'm still still got plenty left to play on The Witcher, so... Still got plenty left to play on The Witcher. I haven't played that for a while. I love playing it. I really love playing The Witcher. I just, I just don't have the, the time to play too much of it at the minute. Uh, we'll make that one change, but I'm tempted to take Barry off, but we haven't really got any other defensive-minded midfielders on the pitch. I mean, I could drop Barkley, perhaps. We'll do that. We'll drop Barkley into midfield, but I'm actually going to switch Jensen to the ball-winning midfielder. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's Lucas from Real Madrid. But it's not Lucas Silva, the CDM. It's Lucas Vasquez, the winger. There's Lucas Silva, who's kind of the, the central midfielder. And he's actually out on loan somewhere else from Real Madrid. And we got Lucas Vasquez, who's a winger for about 600k. Oh, and he scored! As if we're talking, you must have heard us talking about him. Uh, the Witcher 3 is on YouTube, Jstead. It's on my second channel. Oh. Oh. Actually, put that as the one word. Uh, Witcher 3 and Project Cars have been going up this week. There was a Witcher 3 ep episode yesterday and there was a Project Cars one this afternoon. I just think sub boxes have been pretty broken. But the second channel stuff is continuing all this week on the second channel. The second channel stuff is continuing all this week on the second channel. Yeah, that makes sense, Jason. He's quick! Oh. Why do they do that? Why do keepers do that? They come, get there, and then stop. It's a pointless goal. Pointless goal to concede. And he's right next to it, and he just ignores it and runs off. Uh, I'll play some COD 4 soon. I just I need to get to the stage where I'm streaming in the afternoons where I can play other games because I still like playing in the evenings I only get anywhere near decent viewership with football related games if I play Witcher 3 in the evening I get like 60 people watch if I play Project Cars in the evening I get maybe 80 people to 90 people watch I want to. When I finish the Chelsea, this third season at Chelsea. Oh, he's fallen through! Oh, we'll just have to offer him a round again then. It's. Did I just say it's fallen through? My grammar tonight is terrible. When I finish the third season at Chelsea, the plan is to stream in the afternoon and like drop that 1pm series, stream in the afternoon, upload at 6pm, stream in the evening. Like move my evening Verona are interested apparently. I will offer him around again a little bit cheaper. And the plan is to move what are what is current what are currently my eight pm uploads, move them to six pm. And then maybe I could stream a little bit earlier in the evening, so I could start streaming at say eight or seven thirty rather than eight forty five. Uh yep, yep. Problem with either of those. Jens Lehmann is manager at Dresden, wow. I really need to move someone on before we can think about trying to bring anyone else in. It's the only problem. Yeah, I was going to show you the uh, recent transfers, wasn't I? Transfer history. This season, I didn't bring in Park Juho. He was brought in by the previous manager, but we've brought in... We Wow, what is wrong with my brain tonight, I can't form sentences properly we've brought in Alejandro Fowlin who then we let go again because 
he was just consistently injured. We've brought in Callum Chambers on a loan, and we've brought in Lucas from Real Madrid for 600k. And he's now valued at 3 million, 650k, sorry. And he's alright actually, he asked me for some extra football and I've, been, I've, started, I've started to play him. And he's been very, very good for us since we put him in the first team. Um, obviously there have been loads of loads of loans. We sold Cas me, Cassano to Burnley earlier on in this window. And we sold Aruna Kone to Ruben Kazan. How's he getting on over there? Four goals in 12 games. Meh. Uh, we sold Darren Gibson to Watford, we sold Conor McElhaney to Sheffield United and we sold uh, Alcaraz to Santos well, that's it so far I just I'm trying to move on if I can move on a couple of other players then you know we might be able to to do something but we've got not much money whatsoever Uh, use um. I don't know whether to go for loan players because I don't really think we could afford anyone that would make any real difference. And the question is, what position would I look to get a loan player in? It just isn't any goalkeepers available that are worth. I mean, I could scout this guy because his goalkeeping stats look decent, but I'm not sure how good he'll be compared to Robles and um, what do you call it? Tim Howard. Leo Baptistao is available for loan, but I, I don't rate him, to be honest. I never have. He appears to be doing okay for Atleti. Bamiang is transfer listed, but we've only got 1.1 million, so can't really afford anyone like that. I'm gonna have to look at loans. Andre Hansen. Who's Andre Hansen? Is it this guy? I just saw Andre in the thing. No, it's not this guy. Oh, I thought for a minute, hang on a minute, but it's in uh, the B side, the B team in the second division. But still. He's scoring goals, but we've just signed a new striker, so I don't know whether we really need one. I was going to look at Delafeu, wasn't I? Oh, it's, uh, it's. How do you spell Delafeu, for fuck's sake? Oh, it's Delafeu. My bad. Is it Chelsea? Oh, buzzing. Brilliant. He's on 70 grand a week. No, can't get Delafeu. Can't get Delafeu. Oh, Andre Hans. Oh, I was going to look at Andre Hans. He's a goalkeeper, is he? 26 at Spartak Moscow. We'll scout him. Not transfer offer. I'm saying in my head, we'll, I was saying out loud, we'll scout him, and then in my head, I'm doing something different. <sighs> yes, the Levira is decent, but. See, Nelson Oliveira is scoring goals for Benfica. Why are they trying to get rid of all their strikers? Who else have they got? Thiago Ribeiro is scoring goals for him. Wow. Yannick Jello. See, Nelson Oliveira is loan listed, but he's their, like one of their number one strikers. I mean, I'll loan him. He's only on seven and a half grand a week. 
I mean, surely that's got to be a good loan deal. He appears to be in good form. Done. Quite happy to do that. Mario Suarez is loan listed. Mario Suarez. Mario Suarez. Mario Suarez. Cha cha. Hmm. Xavi Torres. Namina, he's supposed to be a decent youngster, isn't he? Thiago Mota is available to loan. Wow. Lucas Anderson, what does that name ring a bell? Apparently it doesn't exist, unless I've spelt it wrong. No? Anderson, not Anderson. He's a good creative midfielder, by the looks of things. 21 years old, I'd never be able to afford him though, which sucks. And he's out for four, three to four weeks in a minute as well. His first team, so they'd never loan me him, and I, I can't afford him. I mean, he looks decent, as in for that cam slot. I re I wouldn't play him at centre mid because he just can't tackle. He looks like an okay player, but not what we're looking for right now. Treat Berisha. Coming out with all the names tonight. All the Montenegrins as well, by the looks or Albanians, sorry. The Montenegrin flag looks nothing like that, does it? My brain is not on one tonight. I'll scout him. Paulinho is available to loan. Saul. Saul would be a good loan signing. A really good loan signing. I'm not going to pay 80% 80, 80 of his wages, though, I'll tell you that much. I just I don't know where I really need to improve to be honest. I mean everywhere really, but we just got a lot of squad players. We'll see what happens with those loan deals to start off with. Well, Nelson not a very one's been accepted. Uh Torino's gummy not a worthwhile signing fine. Henson What's he like compared to our others? Better than Robles, apparently. Hanson, sorry, not Henson. Uh, very interested in joining us on loan. Would need to learn the language, which doesn't help. He does look good, though. But I bet they won't let me loan him, because first team, you... He's probably, he's probably playing first team as well, isn't he? He's yeah. a place I could look at next year to buy, perhaps. But I can't afford to buy anyone this window. I need to loan someone. If they're, if they're going to be first team where they are currently, I'm not going to be able to loan them. That's the dilemma we have right now. I'm not going to get Martin Odegaard, bro. Can't afford to give you a 90%. Apparently can't afford to give you 60. Oh, no. I can afford to give you up to 80. But 
I may just... If I'm not going to... No, what? What am I even doing? Brain's not functioning tonight at all. I've only just changed it, though. If I just put it all into wages, we can maybe loan three or four players. But it's... We also have to think squad registration as well. We've got Oliveira on loan though, that's a good deal for us, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, minimum of eight, I need more homegrown players. So if we're going to bring someone else in, they've got to be a homegrown player really, unless we can move on. Oviedo or Park Ju Ho. He is wanted and is transfer listed, but nobody really wants him apparently. We'll offer Brian Oviedo around as well. Feel that the players' wage demands are in excess of what they're prepared to pay. Twenty-six grand. Well, bid for him and then try and bargain with him. Fuck's sake! Such a pain in the ass when teams are like, no. Just fucking buy him. I need the pennies. Wow, Timo, you love a bit of a spam, don't you? Please don't spam the chat. <laughs> I think one of my mobs, one of my mods, just timed you out. Stop it! Just accept it. Sure, be sick. Fine. Assisto flattered by Barcelona interest. So he's listed for loan. I could try and loan Sisto. I want seventy percent of his wages. Oh, I want eighty. Sorry, and I can only offer seventy. Ah, I don't want to give you that monthly fee though. <whistles> Please don't spam the chat, Jack. I think I just accidentally timed someone else that didn't, someone else that I didn't mean to, sorry. Oh, and then I untimed out the wrong person as well. Oh. Falcao? Yeah, because I'm going to be able to afford Falcao, aren't I? I don't understand why people do it. You ask them not ask people not to spam and then they start to spam. Like you're only gonna get yourself timed out doing that. Why even bother? Of course Barcelona make a bid for Saul. Everyone not allow the wing to play. Oh. For fuck's sake. Money has gone to crew. That's a, that's I mean to Warsaw. That's the wrong move as far as I'm concerned. He should have stayed at crew there. I'll change my budgets now, please. Good. Put it all into loan and then we'll try and get another it's the homegrown thing as well. The annoying thing is when you've got people that you want to move on, but you can't get rid of them. I'm going to have to 
homegrown status. Trained in nation. Pogba would count as homegrown. I can't afford him though. Uh, and I probably should have just left the transfer status thing there, shouldn't I? This is for loan. Chaloba, perhaps? It's great physically. I just don't know whether he'd be good enough. I'll get a scout report on him. I'm not sure whether he'd be good enough. Suso. Adam Armstrong wouldn't be good enough, really. And he's a striker. I don't need a striker. I really don't need a striker. Cahill? How long is he out injured for? 11 days to 2 weeks. Well, I've, I've already got good centre-backs, man. I don't need, don't need centre-backs. Media Bades thing keeps coming up. I don't really need anyone for that cam spot though. So I've got Ross Barkley, I've got Stephen Naismith, I've got Stephen Pienaar. The only thing is, uh, the quality of player that we can bring in right now isn't good enough to get into the first team. So anyone that I bring in will solely be a squad player, and I'd have to bring in—I'd have to bring them in with them knowing that they are only going to be a squad player. That's the—that's the problem right now. Uh, yeah, go with McGeady again, but I'm actually going to start Malinga. We'll see how he gets on. Morales, Oliveira, Peanut. It's knowing who to go for, that's the only thing. Because no nobody that I can get on loan is going to go straight in the first team. Hands down, nobody. I just need backup players. Better quality and depth. Yeah, I couldn't call Saul, unfortunately, because he's already gone to Barcelona. Got already on his way to Barcelona. I'll have a look at Alex Bouchard. I'll wait for the scout report on Chaloba as well. James Ward Prowse could be decent, but he's probably going to be again. He's probably going to be first team at, at Southampton. So, are they going to be willing to let him go? That was an eventful first half. Um, try and get a little bit more out of him in the second half. Bring Tim Cahill back. 
Morales is on the bench. Lucas is in good form, so I'm going to continue to start him for the time being. Plus, in yesterday's stream, Kevin Morales really messed me around, so I'm still a bit pissed at him. Go on, Aiden. Oh, he scored on his debut. Malenga pings it tops. Yes! The relief of knowing that perhaps we have another goal scorer. I don't need any strikers now because I've just brought in Nelson Oliveira on loan and we just signed Malenga. Don't need a striker. Lacazette is far too expensive, Neymar. Far too expensive. I can't afford to buy anyone, I need to loan people. Drop to McGeady. Oh, Lucas. Yes. Oh, where's Morales? Why are you not playing Morales? Lucas scores two games in a row. That's why I'm not playing Morales. Plus, Morales has been a dick. So, fuck him. Guys, is too expensive, man. I can't afford players like that. I don't have any money to spend on transfer fees. Need to need to remember that. Nothing I can spend on transfer fees. They have to be loan deals. And loan people, I won't be able to loan people that are first team, current first team players at their current club. Because the club won't let them leave on loan. Ruben Neves would be Don't you dare, Jacob. I haven't bought I haven't bought you in to instantly get feckin' injured and stay, be out for ages. Uh, the bathroom is pretty much still in the state it was in yesterday. Three of the walls have been plastered now. And they've just had a man sent off. See ya. See ya, Sandro. Mike Jensen's looking exhausted. Wow, everybody's tired all the time. I could play Callum Chambers at CDM. We well, can play Callum Chambers at CDM, that's not a problem. Well, that was a waste. Oh, I thought I was about to go anyway. I can have a look at Ruben Neves, but he's going to be starting first team at Porto. You keep telling me, you keep giving me names of players that are going to be first team at their current club that I'm not going to be able to get in. Think about it before you type a name in the chat. Uh, Malenga is the former Utrecht striker. Yeah, I'll show you his uh, previous... Fuck's sake, Ross Barkley. Uh, Malenga. Utrecht. Banged the goals in at Utrecht. Banged the goals in in China at Yongchang. And scored on his debut for us. Sweet. Uh... Yes. 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 Maintain winning streak. Have we really won five games in a row now? The form at this club is just ridiculous. We started the season on fire and then lost every week and now we're winning every week again. Although we've got Man City next. Right. Tarike Fosu. 
Am I spelling it right? Why spam like that? You're just being a dick. I'm actually just going to ban you straight up. Not time you out, just but get banned. I'm so sick of people spamming in my chat tonight. Just don't do it. Tariq Fosu. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough, unfortunately. I just can't I can't take the risk on players like that. And the issue we're having now, if I can't I need to get I need to get someone like Brian Oviedo or Park Juho out of the door. Because if they don't go, I can't bring anyone else in that isn't homegrown. Because of this rule. Currently we're okay because we've got six players plus the two free spaces. But if I bring someone else in with a squad as it is, they need to be homegrown. Which is why I'm trying to move on Park Ho and Brian Oviedo, but nobody seems to want to actually commit to a, a sale. Alex did, and then ran out of money. Dickheads could really do with that money. I'm trying to sell Brian Oviedo on the cheap as well, and nobody wants him. Sign him. Roxane, just sign him. Tim Cahill wouldn't count as... Would he actually count as homegrown? Is he, he may not even still be playing. He is. He's at Shenhua. In the Chinese League. Uh, I'll get a scout report on him. He will count as homegrown, though. Alex Pritchard, yes, I was going to look at him, wasn't I? Uh, he's contracted to Brentford. Brentford have signed him on a free from Tottenham this season. I'll get a scout report on him, but I won't be able to sign him. So I think that's unfortunately uh, a move that would be dead in the water. There's not much I can do on that on that side of things. Oh, I could unregister them, yeah. But ha having a player that of that quality in the squad, if I can't sell them, I might as well just keep them in the squad. Like, there's no point signing someone for the sake of signing someone. And Zonzi was first team at Stoke. Alcantara isn't homegrown. Andreas Pereira isn't good enough. Now don't start the whole that whole W thing again. Andreas Weiman, I mean I could look at him, but he's not really what I'm after. He's not really in a position that I need, Andy Weiman. Plus, he's not that good. He's really not that good. I don't have any money for transfers. 300 grand. I put it all into the loan budget. Uh, Kenneth Maruo, I could look at, but I don't really need a centre back. I've got Chambers, Stones, Foreign, Jagielka, and I can play Besic at centre back as well. I don't need a centre back, I don't need a striker. I'd, ideally, I'd like someone for centre mid, like holding mid, so I could look at Ben Taleb. And I'll get a scout report on him. But he's out for six weeks to two months with a broken foot. <sighs> could look at Nathan Ake, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether Nathan Ake is good enough. He's already on loan at Norwich as well, so I can't get him. Danny Drinkwater's not good enough, I don't think. He's just... Oh, it's just not going to be of the quality that we need. He's okay, but he's first team at Leicester. I'd never get him. 
Loftus Cheek. Just don't know whether he's on loan already at Derby, and his stats don't look that impressive, unfortunately. Hoiberg isn't homegrown, Debert, unfortunately. I mean, I could think of. Oh, I could think about. I could think about sending. Uh, no, not available. Plus, his wages are astronomical, and I've never afforded them. I think I'm going to unregister Oviedo. And then under 21s. Coquelin? It's an option, perhaps. Coquelin, if I can spell it right. Uh, is at Fulham. Okay. He's, but he's first team at Fulham. So I'd never get him. And I can't afford him. Good option, though. I mean, Jordan Much. Is Jordan Much. Even if Jordan Much was available. Why is it Jordan Much? Is he going to be good enough? I'll scout him. His stats do actually look pretty good. He's only played three games from this year. Jordan Much could be a shout. Joey Barber. I mean, I could think about letting Mike Jensen go. See what people say about Mike Jensen. I'm just trying to raise funds now. We've only got a week left. Ajax have made a bid. Ah, no, I don't, I don't, that's, it's, they've made it non-negotiable as well. I can't accept that. 775k up front with that much over, I just, no, I can't. That's not good enough. Make another one. Chaloba. Might be worth keeping an eye on his development. Chaloba could be good. Chaloba could be an option. Tell me what you think about Chaloba in the chat and we will revisit that. Let me put him in the shortlist indefinitely so that I know to go back to him. Uh, Jamie Boger. Just not sure I need him, to be honest, in that position. Not a worthwhile signing. I'm waiting for you to uh, let me know what you think about Shalova. Pabon isn't homegrown, Coco. I need homegrown players. Richard, uh, not worthwhile signing apparently. Bentaleb. He would be very interested in joining on loan, and he would be a good signing, but he's out for two months with a broken foot, so there's no point. Jordan Much, apparently not a worthwhile signing. Really? Because I, I like the look of his stats. Could look at Tom Carroll. I like the look of Jordan Much's stats. That's the thing, but my my coach is telling me he's, my coach is telling me no, he's terrible. But I mean, his stats look decent. I'll wait and see what you guys say in the chat about 
Jordan Much. Let me know what you think about Jordan Much. No offers for two players. Scouting shortlist. Gonna go for Shaloba. Want eighty percent of his wages, which is twenty-eight grand. That's a lot of money. I mean, they don't want a monthly fee, which is good. I'm not going to give you eighty percent. Just accept the fifty. Saul, remove from shortlist. Mike Van Kinkle, remove from shortlist. Sisto's injured now. The groin strain. Dickheads. Well, I really need a Wii. So I'm gonna have to go to the toilet. Ryan Mason out for ten to twelve days. Ryan Mason looks like he could be okay. Get a scout report on him. Right, I'm just gonna go to the toilet quickly and then I'll be back in a couple of minutes. You get a nice view of Chernoid and I will BRB. Hello. Je suis retourné. Homegrown status, trained in nation England. Dan Gosling, sick.
Ryan Mason actually looks okay. What do you think about Ryan Mason? We're going to look at Tom Carroll as well, won't we? Oh. Uh, that's not the Tom Carroll I was after. Where's Tom Carroll? Where's... Where's Tom Carroll? Seriously? Where's Tom Carroll? Because all I'm getting... All I'm getting is this guy from Northampton under 21s who's 18. What? Sam Byram, I could have a look at. He's at Leeds, isn't he? Leeds, 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 Leeds. I don't really need a right back though, I've got Seamus Coleman. He can play centre mid, but he's unconvincing apparently. I'll get a scout report on him nonetheless. Oh, I might be Thomas Carroll, that's a shout. It's Thomas! But he's just gone to Wolves on a free, so I won't get him. And he actually doesn't look that good. Ryan Mason looks far better. Ryan Mason looks far better. I'll wait and see what the scout report says, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a crack at getting But if we get if we get Chaloba, I won't need Tom uh Ryan Mason. But I might uh, Mason might be better than Chaloba. Wallace is going to Crutzera. Okay, see ya. Not a worthwhile signing. Why is why is he saying not a worthwhile signing to the players that I'm thinking could be decent, like Jordan Much and Ryan Mason? Matt Grimes. Now yeah, let me just put a tra uh, loan offer in for Ryan Mason. Oh, shut up. Uh, Byron Report, not a worthwhile signing, apparently. I've got Callum Chambers on loan as well, and John Stones can play right back. Uh, what, who's I was going to look at? That Grimes. He's at Exeter. And not very good. Ashley Westwood is an option, but won't he be first team at um, Villa? He's first team at Villa, there's just... No way. There is no way I could afford him, like... Much is shit on FM, and that's from a Palace fan. Oh, OK. Uh, they rejected my sister, it's so fine. Mm. Oh, but they don't want any monthly fee. That's going to be. That's a bit. He's on so much wage wise. Mason bid rejected. Oh, shut up, Tottenham. They're looking for. They rejected it up over two and a half thousand pounds a week. Dickheads. I do actually like the look of Rice, Ryan Mason there. I think we'll get him. I think we'll get him. Hello Twitter. It wasn't even Twitter. It was MGH going live. Piss off.
George Monko won't be good enough, man. Not good enough. Wow, Jovetic, eight goals and six assists. What? That's crazy, that is. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about my things. Outsiders. I'm not going to say who their weakest link is because they're Man City. They don't have a weakest link. Ward Prowse. I was going to look at Ward Prowse, wasn't I? Although he's going to be first team. He's going to be first team at Southampton. Yeah, he's played 30 games already. <laughs> I will add him to my shortlist, though. And I'll scout him for next season, perhaps. A potential signing for next season. I need homegrown players, Kevin. Ergis Katze isn't homegrown. <laughs> Way Boris sacked the manager, wankers. Come on, confirm Ryan Mason for me, please, before the end of the weekend. <laughs> Uh, we're in the second season, Ben. This is the January, January transfer window, season two. And this is our first season at Everton. Brazil assignment finished. Jefferson. I mean, he'd be brilliant. But, can't board him. No! Actually, I'm going to keep Jefferson on my shortlist because he looks sick. If I can sell someone in the, January, in the summer transfer window, if we stay here at Everton, then we might be able to bring Jefferson in. That would be cool. Seamus Coleman. Pesic is back in first team training, which is good. But uh, he's unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Oh, he's because of that fine still. Shut up, mate. Shut up, mate. I'm going to play him, though. <laughs> Lucas. Um... Naismith at Cam. Morales on the left. Actually, I'm going to play Morales at striker. P not Pina. McGeady, there we go. McGeady on the left, Morales at striker. Because Malenga is just shattered. It's just low match fitness, unfortunately. I keep promising Luke Garbutt football, but. Phew, how can I play Luke Garbutt when I've got Leighton Baines? Like, serious. Put you on the bench, say Malenga. Maybe you can do a job. Uh, I need homegrown players. Mal 185. So I can't get Kovacic. That's not subs only, kids. That night, but win a thing. I'm going to need it to be subs only. I may even do it on Twitter, just so I don't get in trouble with Twitch. Where are your tits? So, any new signings in there? Mycon and Dante and Ricardo Rodriguez. Well, three of their back four is new. Calmly, go and enjoy the game. Roberto Carlos. Do good. I'd never get Will Hughes. I don't rate him either on FM. In real life, brilliant. On FM, uh, on FM and FIFA, well, definitely, definitely FIFA. His FM stats might be okay. Yeah, Liam Brickcut's homegrown, but I don't know whether he's good enough. Uh, I've not seen the syndicate. No. Sergio, that was a bit brave. See ya, OJ. Thanks for coming out, bro. 
We are under pressure right now. Don't foul him. Maybe we should have fouled him. Shit. Didn't feel too confident about this game anyway, really. Aguero! Bloody hell, that is commitment, Ben. But uh, with all of the Chelsea career mode, over 110 episodes of the Road to Glory in Michael Hayes here as well. GG, bro. Appreciate that support. I could look at Jack Rodwell, actually. But I know he's at Sunderland now, isn't he? He'll be first team at Sunderland. That's a terrible ball by Naismith. Joe Aguero is a little bit too good. Fuck. Mark Noble. He'll be first team at West Ham. Rodwell will be first team at Sunderland. Milner's clearly first team at City. And he'd never want to leave City to come to Everton anyway. Plus I'd never be able to afford his wages. Has the Firmino to Liverpool deal even been anywhere close to announced? All I've seen is, like, really loose rumours so far. Not good enough, boys. I'll switch to counter, though. Try and pounce on him. Yeah, I'm Everton, Wilson. So I'm losing 2-0. <laughs> Uh, I didn't watch the England game last night, Cal said move. Uh, I just saw that on Twitter, Joe. Joe Allen, the Welsh Chavi, wow. I just actually saw that on Twitter, so... I don't know how far along the deal is. But, also, it's only from Sky Sports News as well. Firmino, Firmino will just play in the same role that Coutinho does. How has David Silva just run past everybody like that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, the check, the check deal's done. Ten point nine million. I thought we could have got a little bit more than that, but never mind. We're just passing it around us at the minute. City are lit literally just too good. Aguero hat trick? No, good save. I can have a look at Eric Dyer. Double Silver's injured. Oh, what a shame. Go on, Lucas. Oh, we might be back in it. We 
and might be back in it. I wouldn't have said, well, I don't know actually. I mean, Petr Cech's got what? A good three or four years left in him at the top of, you know, top level. wasn't even the best of free kicks either. Pienaar. Jensen. Defensive. Uh, encourage. I think we've, <laughs> we've managed to get a draw. I don't, don't quite know how we've done that. But we've been able to get a draw out of that. I'm really, really pleased with that comeback. That was actually quite impressive. Aguero is just unbelievable, though. He looks... He looks high in that picture. Is that, yeah... What's on July the eleventh? Is. There's a lot of blue there. <laughs> There's a centre back, isn't he? Velasquez from Atleti, yeah. McGregor, Jose Aldo, boxing or UFC? <laughs> I don't know anything about either of those. John Stones wins the Young Player of the Month. Well done. <gasps> we got Manager of the Month! That's the first time we've done that at Everton. But it doesn't. It doesn't feel like we're in good form, but clearly we are. Southampton in the championship. I forgot they got relegated. I mean, they're top of the championship by five points, but I forgot they got relegated, man. Playing James Will Prowse at right back. Are you mental? He's valued at 12.2 million. Wow. That's a lot of pennies. A lot of pennies that I don't have. Oh, yeah, Dyer. I was going to look at Dyer, wasn't I? Mm hmm. Eric, Eric, there he is. He's on loan at Villa already, so I cannot sign him. 
Although he does actually look decent, bruv. See, on FM, he's got really, really good pace. But on FIFA, slow as shit. Did Villa get relegated last year? No, they're still in the BPL, aren't they, by the bottom? Huddersfield have recovered quite well. After they beat us. Bastards. I would raid Southampton, but I haven't got any money. So I can't. Mark Noble will be first team at West Ham, Geordie. You've got team of season Dan Golden in free pack. That'll do. That'll dink dank do, buddy. Have I got any siblings? I've got a younger sister. Transfer deadline day. We'll take part just in case something happens. Yes! Ryan Mason is coming. I think that's a good move for us. We think that's a good move for us. He's homegrown. He's injured, but not for long. Uh, um, when you buy FM, they don't have licensing for Premier League kits or badges or faces, or not all faces, and they don't have licensing for the Bundesliga names, as in team names. Or some of the team names. But you can get patches from fmscout.com. TRM Neves. And it walks it walks you through how to get how to, you know, set it all up and it's really not hard. Christian Zieger. He used to be a killer left back. Like a real killer left back. <laughs> Go for it, man. It's a fantastic game. I would, would definitely highly recommend that you pick it up. It's probably stable at the minute. We've really not done well in the cups, though. Um, they wanted us to get to the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup, and we lost in the second round. And they wanted us to reach the sixth round of the FA Cup, and we lost in the third round. But... We're sixth at the minute, and we are on course to finish in a Europa League spot. We're going to have to stay at least sixth. If I had the Doritos roulette, I haven't. I'm not keen on hot stuff, man. Not keen on hot food. Yeah, you say that, kids. Villa are bottom three points, but Huddersfield were bottom when we played them, and they'd only won one game in the last, like, 18, and we lost 2-1. Why are Barca going after every player that I was interested in? Arsenal's acquisition of Paolo Dybala. Bloody hell. Why has he only got finishing of 13? He's an absolute goal scorer. 21 goals in the first season... 
15 goals so far in this season for Palermo and now Arsenal picked him up for 18 million Wowzers! Sisto set for Barcelona why would you buy him? Why would you buy someone that good at 20 years of age and then sell him two years later for 9 million? Why, just why would you? <laughs> you apologise for your confidence. I apologise for my lack of confidence. Most YouTubers around 40k subs and 100k subs are better than the 4 millions because they don't care about the money um, <laughs> it's a bit of a broad sweeping statement to be completely honest I'm at almost 70k subs and the money is extremely important because it's what pays my bills there are plenty of plenty of YouTubers that have got you know a, loads, like hundreds of thousands if not millions of subs that are still really down to earth you can't really just broad sweep the entirety of the upper reaches of YouTube just because of one or two individuals It's that sort the sort of stuff that you're experiencing, like with thinking that you know that people in the upper reaches are um, just don't care about their fans anymore. A lot of that stuff only really happens in the FIFA community. Like elsewhere on YouTube, it's not quite so prevalent because elsewhere on YouTube, YouTubers tend to be a little bit older. But there are a lot of a lot of FIFA YouTubers that are getting success at like 16, 17 years of age. They're just not old enough or mature enough to be able to handle that sort of fame, I guess. All that sort of instant income. I think it's harsh to judge people from the outside. Like, obviously, as viewers, you're entitled to your opinions. But I would, I would say... Don't be quite so quick to judge. You have to you have to remember that I'm not firing any shots. You have to remember that the guys when they get to those up uh, those really really big numbers they can't solely focus on YouTube anymore because it opens so many different doors they may only have 10% of the time that they previously had to make YouTube content Seamus Commerce happy to stay that's good foreign keen to discuss personal matters Why come to me the day after the transfer window ends? No, you can't. You can't expect someone to just stop doing YouTube because that's what they enjoy. I think it's really harsh to judge someone just because that their videos aren't what they were. Just because you personally don't find them as entertaining as they used to doesn't mean that hundreds of thousands, if not millions of others, still find them as entertaining as they used to be. It's all it's very subjective. A lot of the early guys, I like a lot of the people that have arrived in the past twelve to twelve months to two years, don't know weren't around in the FIFA 12, 13 days, so they enjoy what's being currently produced. It goes in cycles. It's not it's not as simple as do it properly or not at all. It is not that simple. 
it's really hard to judge from the outside like that. But everybody has different view to ratio, view to sub ratios. It's completely different. JJ hasn't changed for the worst, not at all. He's just extremely busy. <laughs> And they're quite people are quite entitled to make whatever videos they want. If you don't enjoy watching it, don't watch it. Don't sit there don't sit watch their videos and just complain about it. If you don't enjoy it anymore, don't watch it. It's pretty simple. You've absolutely no idea about that smiley face. You can't even begin to make accusations like that. I'm not saying I'm not saying it in a patronizing way. Or well, it's not meant to come across in a patronizing way. If you don't enjoy something, don't watch it. it, it it just is that simple. That's not me saying it in a patronising way. Don't enjoy something, don't watch it. There's no point to just sit there and complain because that gets no one anywhere. That's why the internet is always so negative. Such a negative place to be. Because all everybody wants to do all the time is complain and be angry. Let people do what they want to do. And if you don't enjoy someone's content anymore, watch someone else and help them get to the upper reaches of YouTube. It goes in cycles. People move on. It's just life. And it, it can be a lot... This will sound patronising, but it's not meant in a patronising way. You get a different perspective of things when you reach 24, 25, 26 and upwards. I've found that when you're in your late... I was exactly the same. When I was in my late teens and early 20s, I was so very cynical of everything in life. And don't take that as a... don't take that patronisingly. But you do get a different outlook on things as you get older. to FM. Could do with a win here against bottom of the table. Well, how's that for a long ball? Well, oh, Kev, you're on your own. Support is now arriving. There's four people in the middle. He's got Lucas square it again. This could be a wonderful counter attack. Oh, he's hit the bar. As if he's hit the bar. Oh, 
bother me. Oh, sorry, Billington, you've arrived at the very, very end of the stream. This is going to be the last game. Let's take. It's just nothing's happening in this one. Nothing's happening. nil-nil hype. Come on boys, score a goal will you? Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh. Take McGeady off for Malenga and then put Morales wide left and put Malenga up top. Can we score, please? Fontek is injured. I mean, this is one of the most boring nil-nils. I think Gareth Barrow is going to get himself sent off. Why is it with my centre mids and just two-footing people? We get so many red cards from that centre mid spot. It is infuriating. Put Bessic on for Morales and drop him in there. Oh my days. This is crazy. Bessic has been sent off twice. McCarthy's been sent off twice. New subscriber home. You guys know what to do. Smash that thumbs up in the chat, those of you that are already subscribed. Thank you very much, Badass McGee7. Appreciate that, bro. Absolute hero. You are subscriber number 37, I believe. Hashtag subhype we. Hopefully, we don't lose in the last minute to commemorate your subscription. No, we're going to get a nil-nil draw. We're going to get a nil-nil draw against bottom of the league. Some hype. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, bro. Really appreciate the support. It's very kind of you. I'm going to tell them that was not good enough. We should be winning that. Uh, I'd rather not discuss that. I'm going to... I'm not going to fine him, but I am going to warn him. doing that because that wasn't very nice if that had cost us I would have been livid Charlton has sacked the manager, so of Boston. I thought it was going to say Johan Gurku for a minute. Maintain our unbeaten record, but we got Tottenham next. Mm. Well, I think a top of the league, or they were. Uh, no, it's not Lucas from PSG, bro. It's Lucas Vasquez. Lucas Vasquez from Real Madrid. He was playing in... Uh, the Castilla side. Yeah. 
game. Nah, I would have loved it if it was uh, Lucas Moura, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, well, oh, it's 25 to 11. Um, oh, you've typed that at just the right time, Legends O'Grady. This is going to bring the stream to a close. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Ryan Mason is back in full training, just in time to be ineligible against Tottenham. But yeah, that's going to bring the, uh, the stream to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you to uh, McGee for subscribing. Really appreciate that, man. And uh, obviously, as always, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me here on Twitch if you don't already, uh, follow me on Twitter, which is very important as well, and all of my, um, all of my uh, social media stuffs. Oh, pardon me. But uh, yeah, that's going to bring us to a close for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back, of course, same time, same place, tomorrow, 8.45pm, here on... Uh, Twitch.tv slash Chesnode Gaming. But uh, yeah, I think Kiz is going to stream now, so head over to KizzleKick7's uh, tw Twitch. Let me, can I um, copy link? Go and raid Kiz. Because Kiz is about to start streaming. But uh, yeah, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, bye! bye.